In this video segment, we will summarize the basic healthcare access rights of people who are blind or visually impaired. While the ADA has specific guidelines to ensure access to healthcare, there are too many to cover in today's video. Therefore, we are only going to provide information on essential medical services that should be accessible to persons who are blind or have visual impairments. The most important concept here is that health care providers must ensure that blind and visually impaired customers have access to the visual information that a sighted customer might read or see. This includes, but is not limited to, informational and directional signs, patient information and educational materials, legal and financial documents, information regarding medical procedures, patient instructions, and appointments. The ADA requires that printed materials be communicated in a manner that is effective for you. Upon request, your healthcare provider should provide you with all visual information, including printed material, location and directional signs, etc., in an alternate format that works best for you. This includes having staff read visual information or orient you to a new environment, having print materials in an alternate format, such as large print, 16-point font minimum, braille, raised lettering, ensuring electronic materials are accessible and readable by screen reader software, files in electronic format such as Word or Adobe documents, or tactile maps, large print maps, or recorded materials as aids to wayfinding. Upon request, healthcare staff should be available to help you in several ways. This includes helping you complete a form, whether it's admissions, medical history, consent, or other. Describing administrative, therapeutic, or medical procedures. Describing pre and post hospitalization or procedural instructions. Reading a bill or other financial statements and counting and identifying currency. Upon request, healthcare personnel should orient you to a new environment. This includes introducing themselves and their role, orienting you to an environment or setting, such as a waiting area, diagnostic room, equipment, exam room, or patient room escorting you to and from therapy and examination rooms. This also includes orienting you to a room and its furnishings, such as finding the location of gowns, therapeutic equipment, specimen cups, and delivery windows. As an inpatient, this means orienting you to the location of the nursing station, patient lounges, recreation rooms, and other areas in relation to your patient room. Within your patient room, this means describing the furnishings and their placement, including bed and restroom location, convenience items such as tissues and cups, the location and operation of bed controls, the call button, telephone, television, environmental controls, fire alarm pull boxes, and emergency plan and exits. This also includes communicating the arrival of food and identifying the location of food and utensils on the tray. 
Other reasonable accommodations include placing raised letters or braille labels on medication bottles and containers. Removing or protecting protruding objects such as telephones, ashtrays, and drinking fountains. Controlling environmental white noise, which may mask environmental sound cues that are used by persons who are blind or visually impaired as aids to orientation and mobility. And finally, providing adequate light and control of glare in patient rooms and common areas. The experience of having a disability is different for each person. Therefore, accommodations are very personal. Even if you have the same disability, what accommodates the needs of some people may not work for you. While we have identified some accommodation suggestions in this video, the best advice is for you to tell your provider what works best for you. The One Care Ombudsman Office wants to make sure that you know your rights. Please click on one of the accompanying videos or visit our website at www.onecareombuds.org for more information.